Hello and welcome to Snowmass and the Snowmass National Finals presented by Luna. Just 10 miles from world famous Aspen and 220 miles west of Denver, the town of Snowmass Village sits high in the Rocky Mountains. And we have two main events today, the Paul Mitchell Downhill and the Snowmass Mountain Cross presented by Fox Racing Shocks. The course is fun, it's one of the best in North America. It's pretty short, but it's fun. It's got some good fun jumps and some high speed sections. You gotta know your limits. Quick on the gate, don't look back. The Snowmass Mountain Cross is presented by Fox Racing Shocks, and it's one of the best courses around. Filled with fast turns and technical jumps, four riders at a time race head to head and work their way through the ranks. Two move on, and two will go home. Up first, race number one of the Pro Women's Semifinals. In the gates and ready to race, left to right. Jackie Harmony, Joanna Peterson, Melissa Buell, and Darian Harvey. And Melissa Buell gets the whole shot. That's the critical stage in a quick race like this. If you get out early, you're the leader. No one in front of you to slow you down or perhaps even crash or do some rubbing with. And Melissa Buell having a fabulous race right here. She's way out in front. And Peterson in second place right now. But this is Melissa Buell's race. So Melissa Buell and Joanna Peterson will move on and Jackie Harmony and Darian Harvey will race one more time in the consolation round. In the gate and ready to go, race one of the Pro Men's semifinals. Left to right, Emile Cavalier, Peter Hannock, Ross Milan, and Dale Holmes. Holmes second here last year and he gets the whole shot on this semifinal run. In second place right now, it is Peter Hannock. Oh, and there's a pass on the inside. Into second place goes Ross Milan. Throw it a little rubbing right there between Milan and Hannock. Oh, and now a crash between Cavalier and Hannock. So they're out of this race. And sailing through the finish, Dale Holmes and Ross Milan. They'll move on to the finals. Cavalier and Hannock will fight it out in the consolation round. Mountain cross and downhill, not the only racing going on here at the Snowmass Nationals. Cross country and short track cross country, presented by Kenda Tires and Tubes, has proven to be one of the best cross country courses in the national circuit. In cross country, professional men and women will complete one and a half laps of a 13 mile course and climb over 7,000 vertical feet. The fan favorite, short track cross country. It's on a different race course that includes dirt and paved sections, grassy slopes and water crossings. Short track racing is exciting, fast, and there's lots of passing. Back to the action, race two of pro women's semifinals in the gate and ready to go. Left to right, Jessica Vaught, Leanna Gerard, Caroline Buchanan, and Nevin Steinmetz. And the whole shot goes to Caroline Buchanan. Right behind her in the red jersey, Leanna Gerard. They're still pretty tight here in the upper section. Coming off that jump, you can see how close they really are. The other two gals have fallen behind Vaught and Steinmetz. There's the checkup right there where the riders must slow down. So right now, this is Caroline Buchanan's race. So Carolyn Buchanan and Leanna Gerard move on into the finals. Steinmetz and Vaught go to the consolation round. Ready to go, race two of the Pro Men's semifinals. Left to right, Chris Boyce, Rich Houseman, Jared Graves, and Hickey Hall. And Houseman and Graves, the Yeti teammates, get the whole shot collectively. 
They see some really nice jumps here. It's currently Chris Boyce in third place trying to make a move there on the upper section, but could not. Once again, has to slow here in that checkpoint where all the riders slow down and make that tight corner. Kind of an off-kilter corner, but it's going to be all Jared Graves. Rich Houseman will finish in second place. They move on to the finals to race Dale Holmes and Ross Milan. Boyce and Hall go to the consolation round. And now it's time for the semi-pro men to battle it out in their final race. Left to right, it's Jordan Roop, Mike Krieger, Joey Backus, and Simon Kowalski in the red on the outside. Out of the gate, and they are off. And the whole shot goes to Joey Backus. Boy, and look at him increase the lead right there. Off of those two double jumps, and it looks like a little scraping or rubbing going on at the back of the pack. Right now, it's Joey Backus out front and a really good three-way race for second place. Joey Backus with a great run. The checkup corner, two riders come off the bikes. And Joey Backus will win it with Kowalski in second place. So Backus is our semi-pro men's champion. Simon Kowalski second, Mike Baker third, Jordan Root fourth. Whew, seem to get my breath back. Altitude doesn't help. Many of these there? bike riders work out and ride year round. So let's get some quick training tips from last year's mountain cross champion, Rich House. It's real specific. I mean, there's obviously no like uh, long endurance stuff that you want to be doing training. A lot of times you'll be doing, you know, 50 foot sprints, um, a lot of gym work. And uh, you, you pretty much don't want to get too, you know, bulked up. You still got to stay kind of lean and stretched out, but um, it's, you know, it's really a lot of explosive, you know, powers type of a movement. Welcome back to the Snowmass National Finals, the final race of the National Mountain Bike Series. Riders from all over have worked hard to get here, and it seems that a lot of the riders love coming to Snowmass for the series final. General, it's the final, so it's a big deal. I love it. I think it's awesome. I hope they keep bringing the national back. I think it's really good for this town. Okay, time to go back up the mountain to the Snowmass Mountain Cross, where we have the pro women at the gate for the final race in the consolation round. These women are fighting it out for fifth through eighth place. It's Darian Harvey, Nevin Steinmetz, Jackie Harmony, Jessica Vaughn. And the whole shot goes to Nevin Steinmetz. And building a big lead here as she goes off that double jump and makes it cleanly. In second place, still given chase, it's Jackie Harmony. And a battle for third and fourth between Harvey and Vaughn. Very tight still here. Two different races within a race. Right now it's Nevin Steinmetz out front, Jackie Harmony in second place, Harvey in third and Vaught in fourth. And a pass right there as Vaught moves into third. So finishing in fifth, it's Nevin Steinmetz with the win in that consolation. Harmony finishes sixth, Vaught seventh, and Harvey eighth. Next up, it's the men's consolation round. Hickey Hall, Chris Boyce, Emile Cavalier, and Peter Hannick. Too tight to tell on the whole shot. Three riders breast to breast, but in the inside, it's Peter Hannick. So Hannick takes the whole shot, but here's a good pass by Emil Cavalier. And he moves to the inside and opens up a little bit of a lead. Off that checkup curve. And this is Emil Cavalier, a dramatic pass in the top section of the course, and he will take the checkered flag first. So our pro men's consolation, Emil Cavalier, Peter Hannick, Chris Boyce, and Hickey Hall. Well, there's an expo at Snowmass every year. Many vendors from the world of mountain biking have the chance to sit up tent and show off their latest and greatest products to thousands of spectators and racers. Factory race teams also set up pits for mechanical support for their riders and warm up. The expo is a great place for everyone from the up and coming or never ever rider to regional teams to the full blown factory pros. All right, we're set for the finals for the pro women's mountain cross. Each of these women competing for the championship is Joanna Peterson, Carolyn Buchanan, Melissa Buell, and Leanna Girard. The gates down and the women are out in our finals. And who's going to get this whole shot? It's Melissa Buell once again. We've seen this before, but she opened up a big lead the last time, this time much tighter. It's Carolyn Buchanan right behind her. So it's Buchanan Buell battling it out for first and second. It looks like a duel there for third and fourth as well, although some separation. It's Melissa Buell out front, followed by Buchanan. Not much of a check up there. Down to the final part of this course, and our champion is going to be Melissa Buell with Carolyn Buchanan second. It was tough competition with some of the best girls in the world, and I felt I did good considering. 
Um, I came second in the final, Melissa Ball came first, and so yeah, KHS one and two. Caroline's a good racer, it was actually my first time racing her, so it was, it was good to have the win, she's an awesome racer. We've decided our women's champ, now it's time to decide the men's pro mountain cross champ here in the finals. Ross Milan, Rich Houseman, Jared Graves, Dale Holmes, the only non-Yeti rider to make it in the finals. And the whole shot goes to Jared Graves, one of the Yeti riders. But a tight chase now being put on by Dale Holmes. Holmes trying to hold off two Yeti riders while chasing a third, but right now it's Jared Graves in command. The checkup corner comes off quick, gets some good quick pedals, and he's on down to the bottom part of the course, and he's going to win it off the tabletop. It's Jared Graves, our champion. Dale got in, in lane one, and he came out second. I was third and tried to make a couple moves on the course, but it was a tough course to pass on. I got new school pulled. That's all right. Second's good. I'll take it. I knew I was riding solid to keep, you know, keep my lead, so I just tried to ride safe, really, and, and uh, I don't know, just protect all my insides and get the elbows wide in case anyone tried anything. For the pro women, it's Melissa Buell on top, followed by Carolyn Buchanan, Leanna Girard, Joanna Peterson, and Nevin Steinmetz. And for the men in the Mountain Cross Finals, Jared Graves takes the trophy. Dale Holmes second, Rich Houseman third, Ross Milan fourth, and Emile Cavalier finishes fifth. And here are the season's final standings for both the men and the women in Mountain Cross. Welcome back to Snowmass. It's time for downhill. You know, for more than 15 years, Yeti Cycles has been on the forefront of product development in the bicycle industry. The current design, widely regarded as one of the best downhill designs on the market. This is a Yeti 303. This is our downhill specific race bike. This is a purpose-built machine. The, the product was designed and developed specifically for downhill racing. When we went about the product design, we really wanted to make sure that we made something that took really hard edge impacts very well, uh, but still when you pedaled it was extremely efficient. So we developed this new rail system which is um, completely unique to Yeti, where the uh, suspension actually slides on rails while at the same time, at time it pivots. What that does is when our racers encounter a really hard bump, lets them blow through it really quickly, stay on line and, and continue down the course. Some of the other stuff that's specific to downhill bikes, chain guide by E13 here, retains the chain when you're going down the hill. You can imagine the kind of impacts you have as you're going down the hill. This makes sure the chain doesn't come off and you can finish the race. The uh, Fox suspension on the front and rear, everything on a bike at this caliber is really custom made. So instead of making thousands of these, you're talking more like hundreds of them. So each product that comes off the line is, is literally handmade by a uh, single person and uh, the precision and tolerance that we hold on the highest end bikes is, is amazing. I'm enjoying the course way better than last year. So much smoother, quicker, faster, tight corners, it's awesome. Really a lot of dedication and a lot of guys going the extra mile working on their days off to, to put the trail in and you know, just blood, sweat and tears, man. I know get a good line and break in the right spot, otherwise you could just bounce right through the tape and off the course. The Paul Mitchell Snowmass Downhill is presented by Fox Racing Shocks. It's a new course for 2007, and it promises that the rider will be rewarded if he can be patient and daring all within the same run. Off the lift and over to the start line for some of our downhill competitors on course right now, Lisa Micklack. Our current leader is Jackie Harmony from Arizona. Micklack from Colorado has the fastest time through the interval and she has a good, good run going. Look at the shocks absorb, a tight turn through some soft dirt off a rock. That's some of the technical section we talked about, and then a nice straight downhill. Now on course, Joanna Peterson. She's from Folsom, California. Micklack's time, 424.6. That vaults her into first place. Peterson a little slower through the interval. A little shaky back and forth on that bike through that section. Now that tight corner, a lot tougher than it looks. Joanna Peterson 
from Folsom, California. And now on course, it's bib number 19, Kathy Pruitt. Kathy Pruitt from Lake Almanor, California. And Peterson's time, 428.4. That will not do it. She remains in second place. Pruitt on course right now. Pretty good run right here. She's got some good speed through that section. Nice corner. Almost went over the handlebars off that rock. Now through the river section, Kathy Pruitt. And now it's to Marla Streb. Streb again, one of the women to beat here. She rode on the World Cup circuit for a long time. Kathy Pruitt's time, 425.4. That'll keep her in second place behind Micklack. Oh, the fastest time through here for Streb. She's a lunar rider from Los Osos, California. Off the rock in fine shape. And now on course, it's Melissa Buell. She already has one championship. Could it be two on this weekend here in Snowmass, Colorado? Oh, scrubbed a little speed there. You saw the big smoke coming off the tires. And again, right there. Marla Streep's time, 420.1. She moves into the lead, but Melissa Buell still to go. And Buell will win it with a time of 417.7. Number three, Kathy Pruitt fourth. Joanna Pedersen rounds out your top five. Well, Paul Mitchell and the town of Snowmass Village have gone to great lengths to complete this new downhill course on U.S. Forest Service land. The partnership has agreed to revegetate the land after the event to minimize the long-term damages to the environment. Uh, here at the Aspen Skiing Company, we're very environmental. You know, we run a lot of uh, hydropower for our lifts. We do. Uh, we run a hydroelectric plant with our extra water from our snow making. So it's very important to us and uh, it's been a very, very big process going on and it'll continue to get that to be revegged and back to put back to mother nature. We'd really like to thank Paul Mitchell, the town of Snowmass Village, Aspen Skiing Company for all their efforts in this revegetative process. All those companies, Paul Mitchell, you know, they're, they're very environmentally aware and uh, these are the kind of people that we like to work with and I think they're thinking about the big picture, you know, for us in generations to come. And back to the action. This is the men's downhill championship for pro riders and this is Curtis Keene, a SRAM rider. He's out of California. Scrubbed a little speed right there. You see the dust fly up. I call it the smoke coming off the tires. That does cut down on the speed. Got a nice ride going here. You want to pedal hard, and he does all the way to the finish line. Curtis Keen moves into first place with a 356.0 time. Come on, Cody! Fan shouting on, for Keen. Cody Warren out of California. Cody looking for the championship here. He's got to knock off Curtis Keen, a time of 356.6. Through the time zone, Cody Warren has a much faster time, and he's riding strong right here. Waiting below, Curtis Keen, and Cody Warren does it. 353.8 to take the lead. Yeah, it's pretty solid. I probably could have carried the speed a little more places, but I did what I could on that lap, so. Hopefully it's good. Once again, risk and reward in downhill. We'll be right back with more. We're here at the town of Snowmass Village, Colorado, located in the heart of the Elk Mountain Range, just 10 miles from world famous Aspen. At 8,100 four feet of elevation, Snowmass Village is ranked one of the best places to mountain bike anywhere. There's everything from easy trails for the family to exciting and challenging downhill trails for the extremist. Snowmass Village also provides plenty of shopping and dining on the Village Mall to please the entire family. A great place to vacation, a great place to mountain bike, back up to the top of the hill, and this is Duncan Riffle. Riffle chasing the time of Cody Warren, 353.8. Through the time check, and no, he is not faster. Riffle, a rider out of California, rides for Honda. Off the rock in good shape. Now it's Jared Graves, one of the Yeti team members. Graves, already a championship under his belt. Could he do like Buell did in the women's side and duplicate the effort with a second gold medal? Through the checkpoint, yes, he was better than Cody Warren.
and Jared Graves through the finish line a time of 353.7. That moves him into first place ahead of Warren. Oh, man. Got a bit scrappy up top. <laughs> Very good at the bottom. Come this takes. Oh, altitude hill. It hurts. Oh. So a Yeti rider on top, and here comes another one. This is Justin Leo. Yeti Fox team dominating in the mountain cross, winning it and finishing fourth and third. Now they've got the lead rider here in the downhill with just a few riders still to go. This is Justin Leo. And a great run. Look at the launch off of that rock. Actually, you lose a little speed when you go up that high, but through the finish line, good enough. Justin Leo takes over first place, 30, 50, 4. He is our leader. A couple of times I thought I was crashing because both wheels were sliding, but no, my bike just hooked back up and got to the bottom without crashing. Pretty happy. There's your winner, Justin Leo, followed by Jared Graves, Cody Warren, Duncan Riffle, and Curtis Keane. Let's get a little bit lead off. Second place, Jared Graves, third. I look up to you, Jared. You're my hero. You only look up to me because you're shorter than me. Yeah, I know. Well, that's it from here in Snowmass for the 2007 Snowmass Finals. Special thanks to Paul Mitchell, U.S. Forest Service, and the Snowmass Bike Rangers. This has been a production of JSP Broadcast of Denver, Colorado.